So as you migrate um, your model change uh, onto um, your database schema, you may encounter some conflicts. So in the next session, we'll be talking about uh, different migration conflicts you may encounter, such as uh, having the same migration um, contents with different files, which uh, prompts you to merge them. We also have another conflict, uh, such as uh, trying to merge uh, the initial migration. So you cannot merge initial uh, migration. We also have a different, uh, another conflict, which uh, uh, may emerge as you're trying to migrate your file. Uh, you cannot um, migrate irreversible migration files, such as the customized migration or a data migration. Okay, let's look at uh, the migration conflicts that you may have in practice. Let's say you have a, uh, a migration file 002 that had a field named date of birth in a table customer, which is the model name. And um, as soon as you pull, um, uh, you pull a branch on your remote um, on your remote repository and let's create a new file you know for the sake of this tutorial we just want to emulate a migration conflict and different conflict that you can encounter with the migration file let's create a new file called in a migration file literally create a new file um okay we create a new file called um similar you know it's just a call similar it's a python file called similar in the migration um you know we can head that and we copy we copy everything in this file and just paste it here in similar and um you know, let's say we have another field. Um, chart field. And we name this field something, you know. So this similar migration is pointing to, is dependent on the initial migration. And um, it has a, you know, the operation for this migration is to create um, the, the feed called date of birth and another feed called something, which, which is a child field. And as we can see, similar and customer, they have almost the same operation. So if we try to migrate this type of migration by making migrate custom, Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. And this is the first conflict that you'll be encountering or you may encounter while, while dealing with the migration file. Um, when your coworker or your team member, you know, create the same feed or create a field in its new migration file that has the same um, operation than yours, Django will detect that, you know, this is the first conflict. And um, Django will ask you if you want to merge all uh, this migration. Um, yeah, you can do that, you know, by creating, by typing, make, um, make migrations, um, you know, I can say customer mesh so I can be more precise. And it's asking you, do you want to merge um, the migration 002 with the migration similar? By merging, it's just going to create dependency. Let's see. Okay, yes, I want to merge that. And uh, automatically, Jan will create a new. Then we'll create a new record 
and this record is just uh, two dependence you know two dependency you know similar and customer similar dependence on customer too which means similar and customer too they have they have a uh, operation that are you know you know that that's do the same thing so that's the way we can deal with um a simple or uh, migration conflict but th there is another conflict that i'll be pointing out let me reverse this um migration to python uh it's just simply uh, migrate so i can migrate to zero zero Two, uh, migrate customer zero 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 two. So, I do apply this one, and uh, since I have applied the customer zero zero two, which just had the date of birth, I should remove the zero zero three, which is a merge migration simply by git status um or i can just remove that literally by customer migration 003 so the part of the the migration series which is a merge has been deleted Okay, that's the first conflict um, about migration. Okay, um, another conflict uh, we may encounter when dealing with file um, or dealing with a migration file is that, um, um, you know, when we have a two initial, let's say we start off uh, creating um, our policy model and after creating a migration, we end up with uh, a migration file called 001 uh, with property with the property initial set to true. At the same time, another developer is also migrating for this application, which should be avoided. You know, we know that it's pretty unlikely that the same developer will be working on the same app at the same time. But for the sake of this uh, tutorial, let's just assume that there is another policy, there is another initial file called, let's name it manual initial, um, manual initial. And um, uh, we need to move it to migration. Yes, move it. And manual initial turns out to have the same migration as the initial. And as soon as we try to make a migration, make a migration. As soon as we try to make a migration for a policy, and policy detect that we have the two migration we have two files with the same migration is asking us to merge that and bear in mind that we have the two initial migration both of them as property or call initial set to true and if we're trying to migrate them or make migration policy and in this case we want to merge them you know, although they are initial migration, we want to merge them. If we merge them, Django throw an arrow. So we cannot merge our two migration uh, files that do not have or uh, that do not have the same ancestor. As you can see here, value error could not find common ancestor for initial 001 and manual initial. So that's the second uh, conflict that we may encounter while merging the migration or dealing with the migration file. First, 
when uh, you have the same migration, you have uh, two files with the same migration, then we ask you to merge them, uh, which will create a new migration with two dependencies. Second, you cannot merge initial files. 